Saturday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time, the last day of the liturgical year. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. I, Daniel, found my spirit anguished within its covering of flesh, and I was terrified by the visions of my mind. I approached one of those present and asked him what all of this meant in truth. In answer, he made known to me the meaning of the things. These four great beasts stand for four kingdoms, which shall arise on the earth. But the holy ones of the Most High shall receive the kingship, to possess it forever and ever. But I wish to make certain about the fourth beast, so very terrible and different from the others, devouring and crushing with its iron teeth and bronze claws, and trampling with its feet what was left. About the ten horns on its head and the other one that sprang up, before which three horns fell. About the horn with the eyes and the mouth that spoke arrogantly, which appeared greater than its fellows. For as I watched, that horn made war against the holy ones, and was victorious until the ancient one arrived. Judgment was pronounced in favor of the holy ones of the Most High, and the time came when the holy ones possessed the kingdom. He answered me thus, The fourth beast shall be a fourth kingdom on earth, different from all the others. It shall devour the whole earth, beat it down, and crush it. The ten horns shall be ten kings, rising out of that kingdom. Another shall rise up after them, different from those before him, who shall lay low three kings. He shall speak against the Most High, and oppress the Holy Ones of the Most High thinking to change the feast days and the law. They shall be handed over to him for a year, two years, and a half year. But when the court is convened and his power is taken away by final and absolute destruction, then the kingship and dominion and majesty of all the kingdoms under the heavens shall be given to the holy people of the Most High, whose kingdom shall be everlasting." All dominions shall serve and obey him. The word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Give glory and eternal praise to him. You sons of men, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Spirits and souls of the just bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Holy men of humble heart bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times, and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading comes from the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verses 15 to 27. Daniel is told the meaning of the vision that he's seen, the four beasts being four kings that rise from the earth. And they attack the people of Israel, they crush them, they persecute them. But they themselves would be destroyed by the Most High God, because the Most High God would protect his people. In fact, later in the chapter we'll hear that the Son of Man 
would receive power and dominion over all the nations. Remember, the Son of Man in Daniel, when the book was written, was a name used for the people of Israel. Even though they were being persecuted by the Seleucid Empire, they would destroy that empire and they would reign supreme over all the nations. The Gospel is from Luke 21, 34-36. Jesus speaks about the fact that the end of the world is coming, so people should be ready for that. They should be praying at all time, awake, ready to meet our Lord. And they shouldn't give themselves over to debauchery or drunkenness or cares of the world. That they have to make a choice to live for the kingdom. And even if the kingdom takes a long time to dawn upon the earth, they have to realize that this is their priority. As we reach the end of the liturgical year, it's a reminder that all things come to an end, and there is an accounting, and we have to make sure that when our good deeds are measured against our bad, the good deeds will be more powerful. And may God bless us. Thank you.